turn now to go through the morning papers. Here with me to review them are Mary McLeod, who's a former policy advisor to the Queen, and former Daily Telegraph royal photographer Ian Jones. A very good morning to you on this oh, morning. chilly morning here. Morning. As the sun comes up, rather beautiful, isn't it? Um, so let's take a look at some of the front pages, shall we? You've picked out the Times, first of all, Mary, to look at. But a lot of the front pages are quite similar, aren't they? Yes. A lot of them are focused on an extraordinary photograph of the Queen's children standing vigil by her coffin. Yes, absolutely, and it had what a moving ex experience that was. Just watching it when it, when the the, the children of the, the late Queen came in, and and it was just so sombre with the other members of the royal family standing watching, and just the silence just spoke volumes. And and I think we all, you know, felt that emotion of them as children of the monarch, but also it was. I think people reflected on on per their personal sort of circumstances as well. But it really was. Are uh, um, very, very moving to see them, the, the, the vigil of the princes. A really uh, an important part, I think, of the last few days where this is just shows their commitment. It shows also the transition that, that, that they're, they're in essence saying, Yes, we're here with you, supporting you. We've been here um, with you throughout our lives and we'll carry on as you'd wish us to do. And call the vigil of the princes, although, of course, uh, yes. Princess Anne there as well. The yes, time. which I think was. Was, was really good because she works so hard so therefore appropriate and there is that shot it's actually on the telegraph the times had a shot didn't they of the, the princess of wales meeting um armed forces rehearsing ahead of the procession so uh, talk us through this photograph as a royal photographer it is quite a striking image isn't it that does make quite a few of the front pages it is and it, you know i, I think it, it's it's an historic picture um, it's one uh, which I think shows incredible devotion to duty. We've seen His uh, Majesty there uh, earlier this week, and now we, we see His Majesty there in naval uniform uh, uh, by the catafalque, and the lines are, are public, uh, filtering past, and uh, after spending many, many hours in a quite a chilly queue. And I think you know, the, the, the Telegraph also, uh, on their front page there, have, uh, have the 76-page tribute. Uh, and I think that's, uh, that's correct. I think so many people uh, around Britain, around the world, like to see the photographs, not just the current ones, but the historic ones as well. We've got some of the best media in the world, I firmly believe, and some of the best photographers. And over the past 70 years, the, 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 Her Majesty was photographed countless times. Um, and so many of those pictures are in the historic pullout, uh, which people love to see. And Mary, you advised the Queen on, on issues like PR, didn't you? So, I mean, how conscious would she have been, and is the family now, do you think, about the kind of images that make it into newspapers? Well, the world we live in is so visual, and therefore it's really important for everybody to feel a connection with the monarchy. And, and I think that's where, if you look at even the crowds today and the people that have been going through to pay their respects, it's every age, it's every background. They've come from across the United Kingdom and from around the world. So to, to be able to build that relationship, partly it's when, if you meet her, yes, you're uh, um, absolutely sort of felt her presence um, and she lit up the room. But for those who haven't, hadn't met the Queen, it was very much, you know, this is a, the, 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 the picture, you know, speak volumes, they, they say a thousand words, and therefore you feel that um, emotion as, as you, and, and the relationship when you really see the pictures. But yes, and then the, 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 the Daily Mail also has a 16-page sort of pull-out, and again, those incredible pictures then taken at the, at the vigil, it's it's really, you know, and, and, and we, get, we get a very clear picture in that one of our new king, King Charles III, um, and, and I think that picture just to me shows the, it's the personal, personal piece of it um, and that personal grief that the members of the royal family are going through at the same time, the juxtaposition of actually also um, being able to play the, the, and take on his new role as king. Um, but, it's, but it's that sort of personal grief they're, they're feeling um, at the same time and that's what I think people are feeling as they're queuing. They're feeling, it reminds them of the grief that they've gone through. It reminds, and of course they're naturally here because of the respect they want to pay to the Queen. Yes, and it's the turn of the grandchildren tonight, isn't it? And, and Ian, we're going to look at the Guardian's front page as well now, and a reminder that this state occasion, the state funeral on Monday, is 
huge and extraordinary event to coordinate, and not only from a security point of view, from, from the point of view of, of marshalling the military in the right places, uh, but also uh, in terms of guest list and, and the number of delegates, who gets invited and how many of them come. It's one of those um, times where the years of preparation which have been put into this is coming to fruition. Um, we're very good at organising. We've got the military involved, so um, I think we're in very, very good hands. Uh, but really, the, 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 I think the playbook was written many, many years ago, and it's been updated, and now they're working their way through it. We can see in all aspects of the, of the organisation of this, it, it's gone faultlessly so, so far. And fingers crossed it will continue to be but so. But there will be some people not happy about who's coming and who isn't. I mean, as The Guardian says, a Saudi prince's visit is a stain on Queen's memory. But there, there are some awkward invitations, potentially. There, there, all, there always are for occasions like this. Uh, I don't think, um, I think the, 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 the government and, and Buckingham Palace will have thought long and hard about the, 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 the members of, of the foreign uh, VIPs and uh, heads of state and prime ministers who will be invited. They'll have thought long and hard, a lot of debate over it. Maybe now's not the time to go into that. It will offer an opportunity maybe to raise it up uh, in the future. Uh, but for now, I think that they're, 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 they'd be happy to, to just just continue with the, the smooth running um, um, of, this, of this occasion. And Mary, the, the paper's really dominated by the royal story still, but let's just take a quick look at the eye, because I think they're going on the cost of living angle, which again is something that will be concerning an awful lot of people who want this to be front and centre in people's minds. Very briefly on that. Absolutely, incredibly important right now, and, and, uh, and I thought it was absolutely right and appropriate for the for the our new king to uh, talk about it um, yesterday, because people are, they are absolutely feeling it. It will be, you know, front of mind after the funeral, the front of mind of our new prime minister, um, Liz Truss. And uh, but for for the for the for the, this moment, um, everyone in the queue, what they're really thinking about is they want to say thank okay. you, ma'am, to everything she did. We must leave it there. But Mary and Ian, you'll be back in the next hour with me. For the moment, thanks very much indeed. Let's look back now at an extraordinary week.